The I in IDE stands for integrated. We just saw how testing can be integrated into the development environment. In this tutorial step, we're going to make our app component parameterizable. And along the way, see how the integrated debugger can help us discover problems when we're doing testing. We'll start with a teeny tiny little change to kind of get us back into the TDD flow. Make sure that all tests is still running in watch mode. We're going to change this so that it says a little bit better description of the thing that we're testing since we no longer have that link in there. And when I save, all my tests should pass and I know that my starting point is pretty good. Now, let's do a little bit of TDD. Actually, we're going to break the rules first and then show TDD later. I'm going to write my code before I write my test, which is a little bit backwards in TDD. What I want is in my module, I want to make a function called label and it's going to just return a static string of hello react. I'm going to reformat my code. So I've got a function here and I'm going to go and change the H1 to use it. And so I'll get autocomplete, reformat again. All's looking good. Now I need a test. I'm going to add a new test to test just this. So um, I'll say test that it generates a label. And I want an arrow function uh, with a result of label. Look, it fails already, that's good. And I'm going to expect that result will equal um, a string of hello react. Now, we already know that this is gonna fail when the test runs. When I save, the test fails. But I failed faster. Thanks to smart tooling, thanks to the IDE, I got a red squiggly telling me that this didn't exist yet. And so TDD helped me, but the combination of TDD and tooling and TypeScript and all of that stuff let me fail faster. To actually fix this problem, I could stop what I'm doing, go up to the top, generate the imports, or Alt Enter and let the IDE do the add import statement for me. Now when I save, my tests run, and my test passes. Now let's say that in this label feature, we want the label to uppercase a parameter that's passed to it. So what I'll start with is a failing test. This is where I get into TDD a little bit. I'll write a failing test by putting this as hello react, and it's going to fail. And what I also need to do is go ahead and pass in a parameter. Uh, what I should do, actually, I'll put this back to React and save. And notice that the test passed, but I get a red squiggly because I'm violating the contract. Label doesn't take an argument. Let me put this back to failing. Go red squiggly, this, uh, put the cursor over it. Failing faster, the ID is immediately telling me you're doing something that breaks the contract. So let's go over and fix it so that it doesn't break the contract. I'm gonna accept a name. I wanna convert this to a template string so that I can then say name. And uh, what I wanna do is to uppercase this. I'm gonna save. When I do, the test passes, but this thing down here uh, that's a test failing on the first one because I didn't pass an argument. So if I come down here and I say uh, react, run it again, both my tests pass, which is cool, but my TypeScript is telling me I've got a problem here. And it's because I didn't put any typing information on this. That's what TypeScript is about. So if I want to fix this, I need to put some typing information, namely put a, a string type on this. The IDE will actually help me on this and infer from usage. And now my squigglies go away over here and my tests pass. Okay, that's cool, we did TDD. Let's take a look at how debugging can help us solve a problem while we're doing testing, while we're doing TDD. Imagine that I, decide to pass this value, an integer, a number, to my function. 
And when I run my tests, my tests fail, obviously. But let's say I'm having a slow day. I don't, I'm like, what is going on? I do not understand why this is. What's going on here? When I mouse over and get the pop-up, this is one of the options we have to debug this failing test. When I click this, several things are gonna happen. It's gonna generate a breakpoint, and it's going to open the debugger, the integrated debugger, and it's going to run my tests, my just tests, under the debugger, so that it will run and stop at that breakpoint and let me poke around. Okay, so I don't really know what's going on here. Let me keep going a little bit. I'm gonna step into this, and it puts me over into the function. I stepped into the function, still can't see what the problem is. Didn't have enough caffeine. So maybe I'll try taking this and highlighting it and going to evaluate expression, and then evaluate that. It's like, okay, still, what's going on here? Like, oh, that's an integer, that's why I'm having that problem. Oh, okay. So I will go ahead and let this run to completion. Or no, that run, reruns failed test. I will go ahead and stop all of this and close my debugger, close my debugger, terminate it. And when I go back to my test code, I see that the uh, breakpoint stopped. And if I go back and put this the way it was and save, this red gutter icon will disappear, the red squiggly will disappear, and my tests pass again. This is such an easier way to develop than sprinkling console log statements everywhere and trying to guess at what's going on. Use testing, use the debugger, use them together, integrated with your editor, and such a nicer experience.